morning and welcome to day 17 of our 40 days of glory. Our theme for today is victory in unlikely places. Victory in unlikely places. I'll read from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 25. The Bible says, When Joseph and his people came to take away their spoils, they found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies and precious jewelries, which they stripped off for themselves, more than they can carry away. And they were three days gathering, I mean, they, and they were three days gathering the spoils because there was so much. Praise the Lord. At times, you know, in our lives, this Bible passage tells us that Jesus, God, can give us victory in unlikely places. Uh, you know, there are times that we are in situations and then we look at it very well, we think that victory is never in sight. Uh, it's not possible to get victory out of this situation, or it is difficult to get victory out of this situation. This is what Jehoshaphat confronted here. The Moabite had attacked his kingdom and uh, with other nations, you know, a group of nations, and then they, they came, uh, they attacked his, uh, his kingdom, and then it was a battle he believed he would never be able to win. But he gathered the people of God together and they sang to the Lord. For the Lord is good, his mercies endures forever. As they sang this song, God laid ambush against the Moabites. The enemies themselves began to fight themselves. Before they got to the place of uh, uh, the, the venue of the fight, the Moabites had already killed, they'd already destroyed themselves. So instead of Jehoshaphat to go there to fight, he didn't go there to fight. He went there to gather, uh, to gather spoils. And today I pray to you, instead of fighting, you will find in the name of Jesus. Everything you are preparing to confront, the Lord will win your battles even before you've lifted a finger in the name of Jesus. Before you get to the venue, because before you get to the point where, which is critical, the Lord will win your battles ahead of you. He will go before you and he will win your battles. Here, Jehoshaphat got victory in unlikely places. It was a war that believed the enemy was stronger than they were. They believed the enemy would defeat them. But by praising God, they got victory even before they are fought. This is victory for them. And they got spoils. They got a lot of valuables to take away. They were only barely open to survive. They were thinking, we just have to survive this battle. We can't lose our kingdom to the Moabites. But what they got instead was not, the, the, the kingdom was preserved, but they also got valuables. In your life too, you may have been fighting for survival. You may be hoping that if only this cup can, this cup can be over, if only I can survive this crisis or this situation. God has asked me to tell you today, you are not only going to survive, but God is going to give you gold for the ashes of your life in the name of Jesus. Like Joseph and his people, you are just about to gather valuables. You are about to gather remnants from the crisis that is going, that has come your way out of the crisis of your life. God will provide abundance for you in the name of Jesus. The God is going to do a new thing in your life and his name will be glorified. So get ready like Joseph had, to win your battles in unlikely victory to achieve victory in unlikely places. Circumstances you feel will never yield victory for you. Circumstances you feel are they are hopeless and that you find no help. The Lord will find you help, it will bring you hope and you will be victorious even in areas you are unlikely to win in the name of Jesus. Come with me, let us pray. Father Lord will bless you for today and will pray that you will give us victory in unlikely places in the name of Jesus. Every situation in our lives that needs victory, every situation in our lives that needs that needs to be touched, every crisis we are going through, I pray, O oh Lord, you will go before us and you will win our battles for us in the name of Jesus. Before we've lifted a finger, you will win, even we win our battles for us in the name of Jesus. And I declare unto you today, you are bound to reap from you know the, the, the agonies of your life the tribulations you have faced, the afflictions you have faced, they are producing only for you, they are producing new grass for you, they are producing new wine for you, and they are producing success and victory for you in the name of Jesus. May you gain victory in unlikely places. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. I will meet you again tomorrow. God bless you.